Hi, welcome to Your Way or No Way. I'm Jess and we have... Hi, I'm Freya. I'm Alicia. And I'm Ellie. Also behind the scenes we have Eva on tech, Samara on questions and Lauren on filming. Recently everything has come to service due to gender stereotypes and more specifically the idea that as a teenage girl, which we all are, we get judged for practically everything we like and I feel as though we all have situations where we've struggled with this. I mean like, yeah, definitely because as like social media becomes such a big thing, loads of people have everything to say like just because free speech and everything you can say whatever you want on the internet nowadays and it's honestly just going to be so damaging for some people because all i've ever seen is oh people judging you for the way you do your hair the way you do your outfit like anything you will be judged for nowadays i think it's just like so ridiculous like i don't know if has anyone else like experienced things like that like specifics yeah i've also experienced that judgment is more um directed towards especially teenage girls and personally, for my example, um, judgment towards maybe boy bands or ki- types of music that you like, because I know that definitely recently the K-pop movement has definitely come about and people are starting to like various different artists. But, you know, if you're a teenage girl, whether whether you like them or not, you're going to get judged for what you listen to. Mm-hmm. I definitely think that the anonymity aspect of social media really impacts that. I mean, it could just be other teenagers judging teenagers because they're insecure about their likes or even older people who almost feel embarrassed about their teenage self, which I think everybody feels a bit insecure about their teenage self because you're still growing as a person. So, you know, it's just an easy target as someone who doesn't know themselves and therefore can't protect themselves as well as an adult can teenagers and particularly teenage girls have always been a good target for insecure people yeah i mean it's like um whatever we wear or whatever uh clothes always have like a it's like oh yeah girls wear dresses um guys wear trousers they wear this they wear that but girls can't dress as guys and guys can't dress as girls and it's not right because like we should all just be able to wear what we want to wear and just deal with it i feel like people are coming more um understanding of it but we're still not at that stage where because as much as teenagers judge other teenagers it's like um uh the older generations still don't understand it and they judge us as well which means like more bs yeah um what you like and what you wear or what you prefer shouldn't conform to your gender And I think that, especially as a teenage girl, I'm constantly looking for approval as to what I like and if that's normal for me to like it. And that's something that I shouldn't have to do. I shouldn't have to fit what I want to do into what other people tell me to do what or what they think I should do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could definitely link it to um, the Olympics and females in the Olympics. Uh, I think it's... uh, artistic swimming I think they're calling it now in rhythmic gymnastics only women do those sports and they're considered lesser sports because women do them and they're more artistic and dance based rather than an endurance sport or you know a sport that is very physically demand I don't want to say very physically demanding because obviously you need to be very flexible and there are other aspects of the sport that you need to be good at like a runner can't do gymnastics. I mean, they could, but you know what I mean. Um, I think that we need to talk about uh, women in sports as well. Yeah, because like um, going back to the Olympics thing, the issue that they had with, I believe it was the girls' netball team and their outfits for that, which were like... it was. I think it was in volleyball or netball. I yeah, it was one. something like that. I do believe it was handball or something. And, like, their shorts were too long. for. uh, It was like, oh, you're not wearing bikini bottoms, girls. We're going to fine you money. It's like, Jesus Christ. Like, what? Like, if you can play the sport, then... Yeah. It was like fining women for wearing shorts that are too long. Because, like, you're judged if you wear stuff that are too short. And now you're judged if you wear stuff that are too long. And it's just like, it's it's fabric that you put on your body. It's so ridiculous. And it's... It's also nobody else's body as well. So who are you to tell somebody else what to wear? It's like everybody wants a certain thing 
but no one like you can never get 100 percent because everyone is looking for something different but mm -hmm. just yeah. yeah men will even in my school guys will take their tops off while playing sports and like wear whatever the hell they want but if i was to do that i'd you know get arrested yeah it's like it's so stereotypical and like just segmenting girls from guys just because who they are it's like idealistically no one should have their body viewed in that way just because of their gender it's so ridiculous mm -hmm. i also think it was the german gymnastics team who opted to wear full body leotards instead of the really short um, bottom short sleeve leotards that most gymnasts wear in protest of sexualization of women which obviously I think it's quite a bold statement because they were the only team doing that and it was quite a drastic difference if you compare it to the other gymnasts so I think that we should also be um, you know, promoting things like that just doing it and not being afraid to be different in protest because at the end of the day it is going to take drastic measurements and being different in such a way to change. I feel like um, sports as well, um, they're always associated to a gender. So it's like football is a guy's sport. Like girls can't play football. Girls are still seen as that. As much as we're still become we're becoming more, um, what's the word, um, we're becoming more um, uh, available to the idea, I guess. Like, we're understanding it more. But we're still not, a, like, we don't give them enough credit for what they do. We all pay attention to men when they play football and stuff like that. But women, they don't get as much, like, I don't know, TV time and stuff like that when they play football. So it's like, but it's like as well, if a girl likes football... It's like a guy will always be like, what's this, what's this, what's this? Like, it's like they have to know everything about the sport. They can't just like it. It has to be certain reasons why and everything like that. Yeah, if you if you are a girl and you like a stereotypically um, laddish sport, men will, if you say, oh, for example, I like this football team, men will come back with questions, stupid questions that they'd never ask their male friends like oh who's this name three of the best players and I feel like with men and with subjects that they are stereotypically more involved in you have to constantly prove yourself and they will try and belittle you if you don't know what that subject is about. Mm -hmm. uh, do you also think that the media impacts this because uh, I know that recently a lot of football teams are using YouTube as a way to promote their team. And if during the Euros, if you looked at the England football team, it was like 60 or more than that, like 75% the male football players and only 25 about the females, even though they were training in the same area. So do you think that the media isn't promoting a male and female athletes equally? Yeah, I feel like of in this day and age, the media and technology has a big impact on the promotion of female and male sports and not in not that I think there should be a divide in sports but it is there are different ways of they are not promoting them equally because like if you think about it in the top ranking jobs in the government it's run by guys they're going to hire more guys media it's ran by guys and they're going to hire guys so of course it's going to be seen as like putting on guy sports for like guys to watch and it's just like geez, how why would you do that you know it's like it's not the world's not comprised of just guys it's just like this whole toxic system because when you think about it i know parliament is mostly guys and the rules for like luxury items i remember seeing a thing about guys razors like razors are seen as mandatory and female sanitation products are seen as like a luxury product and that's why they get taxed and I think well if it was the other way around and guys had to use sanitation products you know that it just wouldn't be like that yeah um moving away from power play and how gender stereotypes are enforced in mainstream power and who's in power it's it can also be easily 
we can also be easy, easily be um, separated through undermining from men and male friends. Because I know I've had a lot of comments recently about how there's no F in woman, so we're obviously not funny and uh, been told to smile more and be more ladylike and the idea that women can't drive as well as men can. And I think as well as the power play and the power relationships of men up the top, there's also these slight and slimy little comments that still encourage and will support this movement. Yeah, well, it's like um, if a girl wears makeup, it's like, oh, my God, you're wearing too much makeup. But if you don't wear makeup, you're not wearing enough makeup. Like, it's you can't win with anyone and it's so difficult it's like if you have i don't know like surgery or something everyone thinks they do it for other people for other people's appreciation and other people's thing but what if you're doing it for yourself people don't think that it's like um you're doing it for yourself you're doing it because you want to do it they think that you're doing it for other people's approval when really you should just do stuff for yourself and yeah it's also the judgment on what women own and also a trend on TikTok that has just become, let's make fun of every single s- basic thing that a girl owns. For example, a feet 500 and then saying that they bought it out of daddy's money. C- quit the judgment. Let's just focus on, you know, um, not judging people for what they have or what they like because that's not going to get anybody anywhere. Um, But do you also think that men are judged for liking female things because female things like a Fit 500, if you want to use that as an example, are considered weaker or not as good of a car because women like it or women tend to like it when it's a car, like it works. It's supposed to drive you around and it does that. Yeah, everything's seen as... If a girl does it, she's doing it for attention or like, oh, you wear makeup. You know, a guy's not going to like that. He's not going to. I don't do it for men. You know, like if I want to wear glitter on my eyeshadow, it's like, mm, you know, you won't get a boyfriend out of that. I don't care. To me, and I know to loads of women, it's a form of art. It's a form of like self-expression, the way that I dress, the way that I do my hair. It's also flamboyant and extra, if you will no I don't do it for other people I do it for confidence in myself because women don't get confidence from much nowadays yeah why why should you have to take male approval um men won't like you if you wear loads of makeup or wear this I don't care yeah as you said I don't care do we really need male approval is that what we've come to now are you going to make me wear something based of what you like and not what I like yeah like sorry Daniel (laughs) that I don't you know dress to what you think is suitable you know women aren't there for you to look at and for you to be like yeah she's pretty she's not yeah she's pretty (laughs) like even how like guys would like rank girls in their class and that's happened to anyone but it's definitely happened to my class it's just like you know women aren't there to be objects for you I'm my own person even though you apparently don't see that why oh sorry Okay, um, I mean, like, yeah, it's like everyone sees, like, uh, guys as just, like, I forgot what I was going to say, sorry. Um, um, everyone sees, like, guys as just a, like, oh, yeah, all right, someone else go ahead, I forgot what I was going to say now. Uh, so why do we think people are so comfortable with expressing this judgment? Like, why, why do they judge us for what we like? Is is it because it's online? Is it because of their insecurities? I think it's just... Sorry, I think it's just the system, really. Like, you grew up with your parents either telling guys, oh, man up, be more manly, you can't cry. Or, you know, your mother telling you, oh, that's not very ladylike. You have to sit like this and you have to dress like this. You can't wear that out. And it's just like, at such a young age, you're told what you can and can't wear by your parents, by the schools. It's like keeping a lock on... Lock on a lock and key on like what your body can do it's like you it's just, mm, it's well, is that system or is it built into the culture because when you refer to system you f- you often think of things that are in place by law or by government whereas 
social cues and stuff like that are often part of the culture. So I think that you know people change the culture. So if we want to change the way we think, we have to do it ourselves. So um, to wrap up, I just feel as though, you know, no matter who you are, no matter what you conform to, just spread no judgment in what people like, or what people want to do. Um, and just be yourself at the end of the day, because to solve this issue is to just get over the negativity and then not play into their hands. So do it your way or no way. Thank you, guys. This has been Jess, Freya, Felicia and Ellie and also Eva, Samara and Lauren in the background. Thank you.